Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through the equation of a straight line. So I have a diagram over here showing a straight line. Okay, now C, C is regarded as the intercept. Now intercept means the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So C is the intercept of the line. So remember intercept means the point where the line crosses the y-axis and M denotes the gradient of a line. So if you're not sure about the term gradient, I did a video showing how the gradient is calculated and how it's defined. So I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. So the standard or the Cartesian form for an equation of a straight line with gradient M and intercept on the y-axis C is given by Y is equal to MX plus C. So if you have a line of the form y equals mx plus c, we would say that that line is written in standard or Cartesian form. And remember, m is the gradient of your line. So the coefficient of x in that equation gives you the gradient. And c is the intercept uh, of the line. And remember, the intercept is the crossing point on the y-axis. Now. Here's a formula to work out the equation of a straight line with gradient m and which passes through the point x1, y1. So if you have the gradient and if you have the point where the line passes through, you can use the formula y minus y1 and that is equal to m into x minus x1. So let me show you how to apply this formula. So here is an example. Example number one, calculate the equation of a line with gradient four. So gradient means M and which passes through the point minus one five. So this is the passing point for the line and the passing point we would call that X1 and Y1. So back to the paper and pen. So in this question, the gradient is four. So gradient means M. So M is four in this case, and minus one five, that is your X one, Y one. Okay, so let's start the calculation. So let's collect the data. So we have M, M is four, the gradient. We have X one, Y one. So the line passes through minus one and five. So to work out the equation of the line, so remember the formula y minus y1 and that is m into x minus x1. Okay, so let's substitute the given data into this formula to give us y minus. Now y1 is 5 and that is equal to m, m is 4, open a bracket, x minus and x1 is minus 1. So let me expand the brackets. So I'm gonna have y minus five on the left hand side. Four times x is four x. Be careful with this one. Minus into minus one is plus one. Plus one times four is plus four. So if I take the minus five to the opposite side, so I'm gonna have y is equal to four x. Four plus the five is nine. So this should be the solution for the equation of the line for example number one. This line is written in standard or Cartesian form. So back to the screenshots. So I have a couple more examples. Example number two, calculate the equation of a straight line with gradient three. So the gradient is three. So gradient means M, M is three and which passes through the point minus one, minus seven. So the line, the point that the line passes through, we would regard that as x1, y1, uh, when it comes to the formula. So back to the paper and pen. So example two, the gradient is three, minus one, minus seven, the point where the line passes through. So let's collect the data m is equal to three, m is the gradient, x1, y1, that is minus one, minus seven. So let's calculate the equation of the line. 
So write down the formula y minus y1, that is m in 2, x minus x1. Okay, let's substitute the given data. So we're going to have y minus y1 is minus 7, and that is equal to m, which is 3, open a bracket, x minus, and x1 is minus 1. So from here on, let me expand. So I'm going to have y minus into minus 7 is plus 7. That is equal to 3 times x is 3x. Be careful with this one. Minus into minus 1 is plus 1. Plus 1 times 3 is plus 3. And if I take the 7 to the right hand side, y therefore is 3x. 3 minus is 7 minus 4. So I express my answer in standard or Cartesian form, i.e. in the form y equals mx plus c. This is a solution for example number 2. Example number 3. So example number 3 reads, calculate the equation of a line passing through the following pair of points. So I have two points in this case. So the first point has coordinates two, minus 2, 0. And the second point has coordinates 8 and 7. So let's work out the equation of this line. So back to the paper and pen. So I have two points in this case. Now in order to work out the equation of the line, I need to work out the gradient. So I need to calculate m first, okay? So in step number one, let's work out the gradient m. So in a previous video, I gave you a formula in order to work out the gradient given two points. So I'm gonna use that result to calculate the gradient. So remember the formula. So if you have two points, x1 and y1, so I'm going to call my x1 and y1 the first point minus 2, 0. And if you have another point, x2 and y2, so I'm going to name the remaining point uh, 8, 7, and regard that as my x2 and y2. So to work out the gradient m, the formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's use this formula to work out the gradient m first. So y2 is 7 minus y1 is 0 divided by x2, x2 corresponds to 8 minus x1 and that corresponds to minus 2. Okay. So if we simplify here, 7 minus 0 is 7, divided by 8 minus minus 2 is 10. So the gradient is 7 over 10. So now that I know the gradient, let's go to step number 2 and work out the equation of the line. In this particular example, the line passes through both points. So when it comes to using the formula for the equation of the line, you can take x1 and y1 to be any one of these points because the line passes through both of them. So I'm going to take my x1 and y1 to be minus 2, 0. m the gradient we worked out in step 1, 7 over 10. So in order to work out the equation of the line, so remember the formula y minus y1. That's equal to m into x minus x1. So let's substitute the given data. So y minus y1 is 0. That is equal to m being 7 over 10. Open a bracket. x minus and x1 is minus 2. So let's expand the brackets. So we're going to have y only on the left hand side. 7 over 10 times x is 7 over 10 x. And 7 over 10 into minus of a minus 2 is 14 over 10. 
okay? And 14 over 10, you can simplify that to seven over five. So the final answer is y is equal to seven over 10 x plus seven over five. So this should be the solution for the equation of the line to example number three. That completes that example and that sadly ends the video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, uh, a like is very much appreciated. Do plenty of uh, practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.